welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for almost 10 years now. And in today's video, I'm going to be getting ready the December launch. Now, it is like the 5th or something in December right now. Is it the 5th? Yes, it is the 5th today. But yeah, I'm a couple of days late just because last week was so busy for me with markets and other things going on. Yeah, I've literally only got two hours. <laughs> two hours until launch. So... We're gonna have to be really, really quick. So this launch, I'm only going to be doing two things. I'm going to be putting up gift boxes and I'm gonna be putting up some bows. Now these are different bows because they're not for kids. Well, I mean, you could probably get away with them for kids, but I'm wanting to do bows for like teen to young adult. I see it all over TikTok and they're like reels at the moment and people are wearing them down the street. It's very in right now. So I wanna try and get ahead of the trend or like at least jump in while I can. So I've gone and purchased some satin material in five different colors. So I did get Christmassy colors, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna put them up online. So these are the ones I was thinking to put up online, just because I don't know if they're gonna arrive in time. You know, I might, I might just make them and see, but so I haven't actually made any of these yet. I have no idea how I'm gonna make them. Oh, I have a very rough idea. I think my plan of attack Take photos of the gift boxes, have them ready to go. That will take like 10 minutes maybe. Yeah, and then start on the bows and like just make one of each color and just see how I go. I have a lot of confidence in myself. I've been making bows for 10 years. I know the logistics of them. I've made different types of bows in my time. I haven't made any sailor bows, which are the ones that are sort of similar to what I'm going to be trying to make today. We will just see. And I'm hoping that the material actually is going to work for me because I haven't used this sort of satin before. It's a bit thicker than the satin I'm I usually use, only by a little bit though. I think it wasn't exactly the material I was thinking in my head when I went to Spotlight to buy it, but it's okay. I think I'm gonna practice on this color because I have quite a lot of it. Uh, this is a different sort of satin again. I'll show you my gift box. So quite a few gift boxes in amongst here. I think I'm just gonna put them all up because, I mean, why not? I've got ones with earrings in them. Um, these ones are from sheisme.co. I have some from Beginning Boutique, which were from last year's, uh, like, collabs that I did with other small businesses. I have some that, like, have hair claws, fridge magnets, and, like, a, I don't know what you would call that, a, a dangly thing, <laughs> like, the things that, um, Key ring, key ring, that's what they're called. And then I've got some that have like combs in them. Yes, yeah, so I've got quite a few in here. And then I've got bigger versions, which have ones like this, which have a an XL hair claw plus an XL scrunchie.
Okay, so I think I need to make them a bit bigger. This I actually messed up anyway because it's not even like I wanted it that size. <laughs> um, and the way I actually make it, I think I'm going to do it at, like I make my bows. So I have a specific way I make bows because it will give it a bit more like, because I don't like the this that I've sewn on the sides. This is sort of taking me back to when I first started making bows because this is actually how I'd make them. I'd fold them all the way in and then fold it like this. And that was 10 years ago almost. 10 years in January, how crazy is that? Okay, yeah, that's sort of what I'm aiming for. I just gotta see what hardware I have. Beret clips. I'm thinking it's berets, because the clips that I'm thinking of that I did have, I probably don't have any left anymore. Berets are alright though. Also, I haven't used a beret clip in like forever. Is it a vibe? I don't know. I can't see. I'm gonna check it out. So this is the other one I was thinking. This sort of size, maybe, yeah, this size. But I don't have any left of them. I must have used them all when I did some other crafty things. Also, I just had a look at Spotlight because I was like, oh, maybe they have like these clips. They don't. 
but um, maybe they do. So I look, guess how expensive like these clips are. So when I first started, these sort of clips I bought from Spotlight and they cost me, I think like $7, $6 maybe. Like they were pretty cheap, but then they went up to about $10 um, for a packet of like 20, 25. Uh, and then I ended up finding the actual wholesale person and then purchasing them from them. And then I ended up just purchasing ones from like AliExpress and Alibaba because I actually found that those ones didn't break as much as the Shamrock ones, which was so expensive. So expensive, they're like $20 now, 19 bucks for the same thing. I guess that's uh, inflation for you. 10 years, triple price almost. Crazy. I'm gonna try and make a heap of these. I'm also thinking that I wanna do maybe a triple layer one. I'm just conscious of the time. I mean, I can always push it back till tomorrow. I also write down all these measurements because I will forget them by tomorrow, like if I leave it. <laughs> Let's see how fast I can make these. So I got these two choices in the style. I have to like charge quite a bit for these because they take up a lot of fabric. Like they pretty much take up the same amount of fabric as an XL scrunchie.
They just look so cute! Ah! I can't wait to wear these. Some, some people will probably be like, Sparrows? Like, what the heck? But I'm serious, they are, they're trending right now. Um, for people my age. Guess who's wearing bows again? They're coming back. 10 years. I'm actually kind of excited because it's sort of like really meaningful to me. <laughs> um, to be getting back into bows as I'm coming into 10 years of my business. I started off with bows 10 years ago. I only did scrunchies like four or five years ago, about midway. So yeah, it's it's kind of cool to bring these back in. And obviously I'll have more when I do reach 10 years because I'll, I'll do it like a bigger release for my birthday. I've just taken photos of the colors while it's still daylight because these colors sort of like look really different on camera. I think what I'll do is I might put everything up on the website. I'll update the photos tomorrow, but at least then it's all up and ready to go. Um, Cause I've got the photos of the bows and the photos of the colors. There just won't be photos of what the colors look like in the bow. <laughs> oh, okay guys. I just spent like an hour and a half. It's like 9.30. Well, it's actually past 9.30. I launched at 9.30. It's now 9.45. Did all my gift boxes, just uploaded them. And then edited a couple photos for the bows. I literally just ended up putting them up with like a little like circle in the corner with the colour. I honestly don't think they'll probably sell anyway. So I'm not really concerned too much. I think they'll have a better chance at markets. So I'm going to try and make some more for this weekend. I think I'm going to call it a night or at least this vlog. Because yeah, that's all I can really do. Like, because I'm not going to make any more bows right now. <laughs> Let me know what you think about the bows. Let me know if they're your style or not really your style. I really like them. I'm going to wear them. I'm going to wear one on Friday 
when I go to Christmas in the Boo, which is a uh, market in Mervy North. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye! Yeah.